Okay, so this is one of those ideas you have at 3 a.m. and think, there's no way this is going to work. Except, since you're watching the video, you know it did, in fact, work. A few nights ago, I couldn't sleep. I was tossing and turning just after 3 a.m. when I had an idea. An absolutely terrible idea that at any other hour would have been instantly thrown into the never-speak-of-this-again bin. Except that it wasn't. You know how the Ripper Demon can do up to 100,000 damage every minute? It got me wondering, could a team of Ripper Demons complete a full raid? Like, just the Ripper Demons? It's one of those hypothetical scenarios, like asking who would win between Hellwer and Vindicta if they were to fight, except that this time we actually went and did it. I present to you the full 10-man Ripper Demon raid. Every single person on this team is using nothing but tier 1 weapons. We'll be tanking, and the Ripper Demons are going to have to do the rest. Welcome to whatever this terrible, terrible mistake is. Oh, Quorum's time! I don't know why you guys are sunshining. Guess I'll sunshine. Juice! Look at them jumping, bro! Look at them all! Yo, Quorum's is going down. I'll throw a bone. Look at them! Yo, they're going ham! They're actually going ham. Look at it, it's half HP. We're gonna be fine. We're actually gonna be fine. Dude, we're good. Dude, look at this. Homeboy's going down. Yo, no, we're fine. We're totally, this is, this is so stupid. Oh no. I'm literally just auto attacking. We got it, dude. We got it. Go, Ripper Demon. Yes. 527. That's not even bad, dude. That is a surprisingly good kill time, considering at least 90% of our damage was dealt directly by our Ripper Demons. The entire team's on tier 1 weapons here, so hit chance is absolutely terrible, and even if you do hit, it's not going to be a whole lot. Looking back at that kill time, I'm pretty sure that's not the slowest Beastmaster I've done, including like teams where everyone was there and geared and present and everything else, so I am pretty surprised to see that. At the same time, I was expecting Beastmaster to be doable. Beastmaster doesn't have that much HP, and just looking at the DPM that should be possible with the Ripper Demon, I knew it wasn't going to be too, too bad. Yakamaru, on the other hand, I'm expecting to be extremely difficult. We're looking at over 7 million life points, and when it's all said and done with the Jellyfish as well, we're probably looking at closer to 8 million life points to deal. On top of this, everyone on the team is going to have to survive without a Beast of Burden, which is going to greatly limit how many summoning flasks we can bring. Most of us are going to be camping Acto and Spirit Shields and all that stuff, so we shouldn't take too much damage, but we're going to need enough to tank for likely over 20 minutes to allow our Ripper Demons to get this done. We're going to take it very defensively and let our Ripper Demons do the rest. It's time for the Ripper Demon only, Tier 1 weapon, Yakamaru kill. I'll be basing this one, so hopefully I don't mess it up. <laughs>
was knocked down Heard the countdown through the haze In the face of defeat, yeah I was ruled out with no bail out on my own All alone, left to bleed out But I rose up from the ground Just like I was spell bound All the odds were against me So I picked up the page And now I'm in the rage Give me some space I'm a movement and I ain't losing Gonna go, 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 go Like a bullet, won't take no bullshit You should know, no, no, no I'm about to explode Please get in one. Please get in one. Oh, let's go. We got it. We got it. We got it. Who's North tanking? Mini Vistic, you absolute beauty. An actual monster. Mini Vistic doing that. So good. Mini Vistic, you're an absolute beauty for that. And that is a full Yakamaru Kelp with only Ripper Demons. <laughs> oh no. I'm so disappointed. 2320! <laughs> 2320 is not the speediest Yakamaru kill of all time, but it's still not the slowest kill I've ever done. I don't know what this means or if it even means anything. It probably doesn't, but I'm just, I'm glad I have the opportunity to do this. I'm guessing the Ripper Demon gets nerfed at some point, but it's been a couple weeks without a whole lot of comments on it, so. I don't know, maybe they're leaving it. But still, if nothing else, at least I've got the answer to the question. Who would win? A full raid or 10 Ripper Demons? Looks like the Rippers are on top this time. This isn't a viable strategy in any way at all. I'm not trying to say like, oh, this is a way that people should do raids. Never, literally never. It was actually just terrible not being able to deal damage. But hey, if you absolutely had to, and for no reason in particular, this does work. A little bit later in the day, we also managed to do a seven-man AOD kill with only Ripper Demons, and that was absolute torture. It was one of the worst things we've ever done in game, and that was definitely the point that science had gone too far. But if you were wondering, the Ripper Demons did win out, although it did take four or five attempts. The raid was first try Beastmaster, first try Yaka. Before we end off, I just want to thank my teammates because asking people, hey, could you take an hour out of your day to try and do a full raid and then some AOD with just Ripper Demons? Like, it's a bit of a big ask and I know some of the people on the team enjoyed it but I also know some of the people really just did it because they knew I needed enough people to give it a try and I just want to say I really appreciate it to those of you that helped out you're absolute legends outside of that regular uploads will resume in just a little bit and I will see you guys in the next one have a good one and peace out